Hello everyone. We'll continue now with uh, part three of the principles of creation. I'll explain about how our spirit interacts with God and in daily life what how growth takes place. Also uh, what is good for our spirit and what is not good for our spirit. Also the three stages of life. So the spiritual body, um, uh, sorry, the physical body, as Genesis 1 verse 28 states, we're meant to have dominion over the physical world. But a spiritual body lives in another realm we call the spiritual world. And that's where we go after we die. There's ev evidence for the existence of spiritual spirit and spiritual world, there are many things that we cannot perceive through our five physical senses, but by studying the effect, we can come to know the existence of its cause. For examples, uh, examples uh, electricity, mind, high frequency sound waves, radio waves, infrared rays, x-rays, these cannot be perceived by a per human's five physical senses, but we know they exist. Now we live in the physical world, this is limited by time and space, but our spiritual body lives in, is not limited by time and space. So for example, in the physical world we want to go from A to B, we need to go through time and space. I have to go through uh, by car, I have to walk, by plane, whatever, but I have to go through time and space. But in the spiritual world, you, you move not through air, but you move through love. So if you love a place, you can be there instantaneously. If you want to be with a person, you can be with that person instantaneously. Because it's not limited by time and space, there's another dimension. But that's the key. Uh, we have that enough love to function there properly. So how we grow spiritually, what's supposed to happen we're on the earth, we're supposed to grow in our relationship with God. And through our relationship with God, we receive life element. This life element can come in the form of a inspiration to do a good deed for another person, to express love or a good thought for somebody else. If this is received in our spiritual mind, and we decide to put it into action through our physical mind, and body. This results in good thoughts and actions. When this happens, there's good thoughts and actions, you've done something, you've loved another person, you've helped them, they've done something good. We feel good because it returns to our spiritual body, vitality elements. And vitality elements, that's the building blocks of our spirit. So we're building our spirit every day. Every minute, basically. This is how we grow spiritually. Conversely, if we have bad thoughts or do bad things for others, then we send another element called sins into our spirit, and we're creating a very ugly spirit. So basically, every minute of our life, we're creating the essence of who we are, ourselves. So when we go to the spiritual world, that is what we have left. Our physical body is discarded. The physical body is never meant to live forever. We only have it for a time, limited time on the earth. But the, the real person, the real me, or the real you, is your spiritual body, or your spiritual mind. And this is eternal. But what state it in, what state it, it is in, is not created by God or any other person. It's created by yourself as a result of all the thoughts and actions you've had until now. This is what your character is. And when we die, we take what we have built ourselves with us to the spiritual world. So we need, phys the physical body needs two kinds of elements. Positive elements, called air and sunlight, they come for free. But, the physical, but also we need food and water. And these take an effort 
to get them. But we need two kinds of elements for the body to grow healthily. There's not enough just one kind of element. So likewise, the spirit body needs life elements. As I mentioned before, they come from God. They come for free. But the vitality elements, these require human responsibility, human choices to put God's uh, inspirations or words into action. And this, the two kinds of elements together uh, can build a healthy, strong spirit. So three stages of life. The first stage we already went through as our time in the womb. As a baby, we're in, we're in an environment of water for nine months. But in this period of time, it was crucially important to develop our body because it's particularly our lungs because and in the womb we receive the food and air from the mother's body through the umbilical cord but at a certain point the umbilical cord will be cut and we'll, we call this birth we go to another dimension called the physical world as the physical body in an environment of air unlike the water environment and so from nine months to 100 years <laughs> there could be any period of time we don't know how long a person can live it could be one day it could be 50 years it could be 100 years but the, there's a limited time basically it's not forever in the physical body but likewise the purpose of being in the physical world in a physical body is not for itself like in the womb the womb was the existence of the womb is preparation for live to life for life in the physical world so likewise life in the physical body is preparation for life after death in a spiritual body so that's why it was so important to understand what we need to grow in preparation uh, for life in the next world and uh, what's important in the physical world is not that is not important at all in the spiritual world having a lot of money or a big position or a lot of power as uh, meaningless in the spiritual world basically and so what is important is love the ability to love how much we lived with god how much we live for the sake of others and then instead of just a uh, limited time we live there for eternity so these are three stages of life and uh, the final stage uh, in the spiritual world this is forever these are a few bible verses to show about the spiritual world matthew 17 3 to 4 it says moses and elijah they meet jesus and disciples this is interesting a uh, quote as the uh, the disciples also saw Moses and Elijah. Moses was a was dead by that time, one thousand six hundred years, and Elijah, nine hundred years. But they could be seen by Jesus and disciples momentarily. But it was the spiritual bodies that they saw. In First Samuel twenty-eight, we read the dead Samuel appears to King Saul and speaks of God. He speaks of uh, God's will. In fact, he was judging. Uh, King Saul, but he wasn't doing God's will. But this is the spirit of um, the spirit of Samuel that came back. First Corinthians fifteen forty four: If there is a physical body, there is also a spiritual body. And Second Corinthians twelve two states: This is Paul. He said, "I know a man uh, fourteen years ago, whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know." But what does it mean? He was in the body or out of the body, he does not know. This Paul had many spiritual experiences. So he meant he saw this person in the third heaven, as he states. But he didn't because when you see a spiritual body, often you they're often confused as physical persons, because the appearance is no different after death. So that's Paul sharing his spiritual experience. We saw already Genesis 2 7, 
where it says that uh, God created man from dust, from the ground. But the Ecclesiastes speaks about the end of life, where it states that the body returns to dust, as it was, but the spirit returns to God. So this is actually the uh, reality. We live for a time on the earth, and uh, it's preparation for life in the spiritual world. That's why it's so important to live a, a God-centered life. To be, because we can't, if we don't know God in the physical world, we won't know God in the spiritual world. So that's why it's crucially important to read the scriptures, study, and live a very uh, strong prayer life. Anyway, thank you for hearing this uh, presentation. The next presentation is about the fall. Because uh, we saw that the in this previous pre uh, presentations that God's plan was to create his lineage on the earth. But God's lineage was lost. In fact, we had uh, everything's gone haywire. We saw terrible things happening. We don't see ideal families or I perfectly people. So what went wrong? So we look at this, at the fall, the, which is really about the beginning of evil and the loss of God's lineage. So thank you very much.